Okay, uh, this is a new project. It's not my design. It's by a young man in uh, in Norway named Thomas, and he asked if I could do a chicken sitting on a rock. And I asked him for the pattern, and he said he made the pattern and that we're free to use it. I had his permission to go ahead and post that on my Facebook and uh, on my blog, oh, which I did. So if you want a copy of the front view, the side view, and the back view, he drew uh, this. Um, I believe he's, um, uh, he said he had done one of these but wanted to see how I would do it and asked some time ago last summer if I would take care of it. So the first thing I want to tell you is what I had done, something kind of new. I took the glue sticks that you normally see. Let me see if I can find one here for you. I do have one here. Uh, I use these glue sticks for n numerous things, and what I did was I made a co an extra copy of the um, of the chicken, uh, the front view and the side view, and what I had done was I took this and I put this on the paper and stuck it to the wood. A little nicer than trying to tape or copy, you know, with a pencil like tracing it, the outline of it. It just seems simpler and it's more accurate when you go to cut it on a bandsaw. So I did this view and I did the front the the front view. Now, if you don't have a bandsaw, you can use a coping saw to cut this. So that's uh, entirely up to you which you uh, what, what you want to do. But you could carve it from a block, but it would take you a while <laughs> to do it that way. Uh, not that I would discourage that. You know, you could easily take the block put your side profile and, and cut all this out first. You know, a good profile is a good way to start a project simply because um, you, um, you know, it just helps you. When you get that profile on there right, the rest of it seems to fall into place. It does for me anyway. Um, normally carvers will go with a side profile and not with a front profile when they carve. So what I did was I pasted on this side and I glued it on this side. And both sides worked out really well because what I did was I cut up to just before I would cut it off here. I had it flat of course on the bandsaw and I cut this out and this but I left a little bit on either side and then went to the side profile and cut this portion all out and then went back and just ran the little piece that was still hooked on the bottom of either side. I took that off and that's why I have this piece here. I cut the last little maybe eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch off at the very end. So let's get started with this. The first thing we're going to do uh, with any project that I do um, and I have no idea what it's going to turn out to be. I hope it's uh, <laughs> It looks like a chicken when we're done. But um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a center line all the way down. And don't worry about the paper being on here. That's fine. The way I measure it is taking my finger and leaning it across and trying to do both sides at the same time. See, it's not far enough, so i got to pull it over just a tad further. And that's the center. Okay? That's the center. So that's the center line there. And we'll go down the bottom here and up, up where it's flat and then you're going to just kind of eyeball it from here on up um, let me make sure that's right no that's not right it's in the middle of that okay right there okay so we're going to go up here and we're just going to put a center line all right it just helps us gives us a um, a bit of a a reference point Sometimes I can use not use a if I if it's something I've carved before, but normally I put some kind of a reference line on. The redness that you see are not actually cuts. Uh, those that's ink. I was trying to refill some of my cartridges for printing out the Civil War stuff, um, the soldier for the DVDs, and that's what that's from. Okay, so we're gonna come up here. All right, so that's our center center line there. Okay, so what we're going to do first thing is we're going to look at this pattern in the in the front or on this side, and I notice that this it comes down a little ways. So his comb comes down. So we're going to take this off here first. All right, we're going to chop that out. 
and that seems up a little further and that's going to come down a little further all right uh, and we're going to do both sides that way go up a little bit where it starts to turn come up alright that's the first thing we're going to do and then the next thing we're going to do is where the legs are here he's going to go in a little bit and his legs have to come apart here so his legs come up where he's sitting on this and his tail is hanging up not on the rock so all this needs to come out right here okay so uh, let's start with the very top I'm going to use the spray solution some of you have asked what this is and remember put your glove on and put your thumb guard on before you start especially you young folks I know I don't wear one but um, um, I would highly recommend that you do okay so um, if you take class here you are required to wear one I really don't want to be picking up um, fingers and parts off <laughs> off the floor but um, okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a stop cut we're going to figure out how wide this is going to go so let's let's put it about maybe an eighth we're going we'll to leave some room we can bring it down a little bit after we're done so we're going to go up to those two points there so let's bring this up and around and that solution is 50 percent water and 50 percent rubbing alcohol and remember you don't want to uh, you don't want to make it too uh, wet simply because of um, oh what's the word I'm looking for uh, it'll start checking on you okay it'll start cracking on you so just kind of take your time when you take this off here and it's good to put a little stop cut in there see my stop cuts not going in deep enough there we go and I'm one that will recut a piece before going to take trying to take it too deep and first time and you know it's just one of those things you can lean it against the table might work better but uh, yeah you want to be careful you don't slip off like I just did there now to avoid that you can go halfway turn it around and take it halfway from here so that you're never really going to be pulling it over the end of a piece that's a safer way of doing it okay especially if you're holding on to it and again you want to uh, just kind of take your time and cut this out so we're going to just keep putting a stop cut and when you do these stop cuts folks you want to make sure you don't dig it in this way you want to keep it nice and flat and straight all the way around if you start pivoting your knife down you're going to be gouging out a section of the head that you don't want to um, to gouge out okay so we'll be right back in a few minutes <laughs> 